Raindrops, Trip. drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot box. Cookie, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. What is going on my fellow floppers and welcome back to the channel now in today's video guys what if you is one guaranteed easter egg you missed in black ops 2 campaign now this video is going to be really simple i'm going to get straight to the roof of the area on the mission where the little easter egg is it's quite a funny easter egg guys i'm not going to lie and then obviously i'll show it you and stuff like that i'm going to play a bit of the campaign and things like that so anyway guys stick a little so anyway guys, stick all the way till the end because there's probably going to be a giveaway announcement plus another big announcement as well. Make sure you do drop a like on today's video and subscribe if you are new around here. So anyway guys, we are going to pick out our loadout. I am going to rock the AK-47 and the Makarov. Um, I think that's what we're going to use. We're going to keep the grenade and flashbang is the same and the excess kit, we're going to keep that same as well. So we're going to jump straight into this level. I'm going to skip all these cutscenes in just a second and then we're going to get into the actual mission and what we've got to do. Alright guys, so the mission has started, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you like different parts of the video and different parts of the, so anyway guys, this is the beginning of the mission, I'm going to show you little bits and little cuts of the mission, what happens leading up to it, I'm not going to show you all because I don't want to drag the video on too much just to show you an easter egg, but I just want to kind of give you the feeling on how this mission like comes to play and stuff like that. So we're going to actually jump on a horse in just a moment's time, so I will cut it in and I'll cut you when I'm actually on the horse. Alright guys, so we actually do get to jump ahead and get onto a horse in just a moment's time, which I kind of find really fun getting on the horses for some reason, I don't understand why, but it is what it is. Alright, look on. Probably gonna follow this dude, but I know where I'm going once it will let me run. There we go, now we can run. It's pretty cool that we can actually ride a horse, it'd be awesome if we could have done it in multiplayer though. Alright, what we're gonna do is we basically we've just got to go to the base, and then it's not long after the base mission, we do actually end up uh, seeing the easter egg. Alright, there we go guys, we're at the mission, well, the mission base or whatever you want to call it. So once we actually get into the base, we're going to have to get off the horse in a moment and go and talk to some guys. So I'm going to cut it from that bit and then I'm going to cut it where we do get back onto the horse and go to the destination of the easter egg. Like I said, it is a really cool easter egg, guys. It is quite funny as well that Treyarch actually put it in, but anyway guys, we'll cut to it in just a moment's time. Alright guys, so we are in the room where they actually are talking a fair bit. Just after this, like in a couple of seconds time, we will get a chance to go out and head towards the easter egg. Like, they're having a bit of a debate and stuff. Um, the guy in front of us, not Woods, but the guy in front of us will give us like some dirty looks and stuff constantly. He's, <laughs> he's kind of an evil guy to be honest. You would think he's an enemy. There we go, we are now getting attacked. So we'll be able to jump on the horse in just a moment's time. I think so anyway. Alright, wait, can I run now? Yeah, there we go. So we are going to jump onto the horses. Wait, no, I'm not... Will I access this? Because I need to pick up these things in here. I think it's mortars or something I do get to pick up. Uh, am I right? Uh, oh, mortars, that's it. I don't want to show mortars or mortars or something. I knew it was something like that. Okay, so we need to head to the destination, like, really, really quickly. Oh, God. Like, it's a proper war fest out here right now. Um... Where's the rest of the guys? Oh, I've got to follow him. Alright. I know I've got to follow him, but I just forgot which way I had to go then. you got to go down this way, I think. I know I can still catch him up. There we go. Alright, we're basically just about where we just come from, I do believe. Oh my god, right. I think... I need to jump off my horse now. Okay, so literally the easter egg is around this area, but we can't actually do the easter egg. Well, I can't actually show the easter egg until we push up to the weapons cache. That's one down. You just need to take out some of these guys and then we can push for it. Literally, right, wait, it says weapons, we need to go up there, go pick up a weapon, I do believe. And then we will be able to um, do the actual easter egg. Alright, so let's quickly rush into this building. There should be like another vehicle like nearby that we need to blow up in a minute. With Alright, there's two guys here. There we go, sit down. There we go, now we've got the uh, the big, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the FM Stinger. Oh god, there's a nade. Get that out of there. We're getting shot from somewhere, but I know we need to destroy these up. That's one. Once we take out these two, like, vehicles, we've got to take out a few more enemies. Then I will be able to show you the Easter Egg in just a second, actually. Right, so we need to push back up there once it comes up. There we go, that's one. Wait, is it dead? No. Nope. Let's try and help her. Uh, the... Right, there we go. We've got, we've got to head over there now. So, we've got the checkpoint reached. It literally, you just go down here and then it is basically done. The Easter egg is basically done. I don't even know what I'm doing just chucking a flash out there. 
Right, okay guys, so I'm going to show you the easter egg in just a moment's time. Now, as you can see down here, we do have to blow up a hole. Now, if I actually hold X on this, right, and then once it's done, I'm not going to set the charges off straight away because I am going to show you it. Alright guys, so this is the easter egg. Now, it's nothing spectacular, but I find it kind of funny. It basically says, for making big holes only, not for a-holes, don't be an a-hole with explosives, cover you and your friend's ears. So basically guys, that's literally the easter egg, I know it's been a longer video than I anticipated and stuff like that, but pretty much guys, I'm going to leave some gameplay playing in the background, um, we are going to blow this, I need to get down here actually, and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that is the easter egg complete, like I did say, I'm going to keep some obviously of the mission going through it as gameplay in the background, I'll talk to you. But anyway guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd actually like to see some more easter eggs. I found loads of easter eggs that a lot of people have never missed or forgot about within Black Ops 2. I can cover a load of them. There's loads of easter eggs I want to cover in other Call of Duty's and loads of different type of videos I've got planned. So if you want to see more easter eggs, leave a like on today's video. Also guys, the giveaway and the announcement. Now the announcement is guys, I have joined Radiant Esports. Now their YouTube channel and their Twitter will be linked down in the description. Go and follow them, go and subscribe to them because you will be seeing content over on the Radiant channel as well by me. I have joined as a content creator. Also guys, the giveaway. Now I have got this brand new hoodie if you guys have not already seen it, me wearing it or seen it on Twitter. And if you guys are wanting to get your hands on some merchandise, let me know on the comment sections down below. For somebody in the comment section down below, I might actually get the chance to win either a hoodie or a t-shirt. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to work out what I want to do first. I will do the proper announcement of the giveaway soon within the next couple of days or weeks. Depending on the feedback I do get by, obviously, this video and stuff in the comment section down below. But anyway, leave a like if you are new around here and let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe if you're new here. But anyway, guys, as always, I'll see you on the next one.